The blockchain industry is booming with opportunity for developers. There's so much innovation happening in this space, which means that the technology landscape is constantly evolving and changing. And in response to this change, there's a huge demand for developers to create tools to further the entire industry. And in this video, I wanna talk about a $300,000 opportunity for blockchain developers to help build the next generation of the internet. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know this video today and how you can take advantage of this opportunity. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to become a blockchain master, step-by-step -step start to finish, break in the industry, increase your salary well past 100K, I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about this $300,000 opportunity for blockchain developers in 2023 and how you can take advantage of it. So the Ethereum Foundation just put out a grant for over $300,000 for developers to help build the next generation of the internet with account abstraction. So let's get into all the details of the who, what, where, when, why. So basically this is a grant program sponsored by the Ethereum Foundation, which is the independent organization kind of at the epicenter of the Ethereum ecosystem to help further the implementation of account abstraction on Ethereum. So let's start there and talk about what the heck even is account abstraction in the first place and why is it important and why do they want to throw so much money at developing for this so account abstraction is not a new idea inside the blockchain ecosystem it's actually been around for quite some time i put out a couple of videos about it on my channel and influential people in the ethereum ecosystem like vitalik buterin himself you know the mastermind behind ethereum has talked about the benefits of account abstraction for a really long time now account abstraction has kind of been in the idea phase more or less for quite some time but a new ethereum proposal and ERC, ERC4337, is proposing a new standard for this type of thing and is going live uh, you know, very soon. It's currently being deployed and tested, and this could be the new era for smart accounts. So what is ERC4337? Why is it such a big deal? Well, let's look at how account abstraction works or how smart accounts work in the first place. So let's start off with how most people think about, you know, accounts on Ethereum. So for most people, what they do is they get on our web browser or our mobile app or something like that, and they connect their browser to something like MetaMask, okay? You can see the little fox icon up here in my uh, right-hand corner. And essentially what they do is they store their private key inside that MetaMask account, and then maybe they go to a website like Uniswap to swap tokens, and they you know, just click sign transaction from their MetaMask, and then they do the swap, or maybe they send cryptocurrency to another wallet. They just click sign from this every single time. Now, when they do that, what they're doing is they, the user, are just connecting this wallet, MetaMask, and that stores their private key, which lets them sign the transactions, and that authorizes these transactions to be, you know, put on the blockchain in, a, you know, simple terms. So that's what's called an externally owned account. Basically, it is an account that has a key pair, a private key, and an account address associated with it. And then you, a single person, control that private key, and you sign every single uh, transaction that you want to submit to the blockchain. Now, that's the account. Now let's talk about how we can abstract that account away, hence account abstraction. So this adds a new link into the chain, which essentially is you have the user which still has this wallet with an externally owned account with a private key, but instead of connecting directly to a blockchain to like use an application, there's an intermediate step, which is this smart account or smart contract account, okay? This is the abstracted account or account abstraction. And instead of just doing all these transactions directly to these other applications, there's kind of this intermediate step where there's a smart contract that does a lot of things on their behalf before it actually finalizes that transaction to the application that they want to use or the other user's wallet they want to send cryptocurrency to. So the important thing to understand is, you know, smart contracts themselves are accounts they're just smart contract accounts. You have externally owned accounts, which have private keys, and smart contract accounts don't have private keys. And currently, the implementation for this account abstraction uses smart contracts to pull this off. And so what the heck are the benefits of this? Like, why would you even do this in the first place? So there's a few different benefits that you can achieve from using account abstraction or smart contract accounts in this case. So let's cover a couple of different categories. So category number one is security. So there's a lot of problems with wallets right now. Uh, we have a lot of hacks that happen where essentially people lose their seed phrase or they expose their seed phrase, their private key, and somebody else gets a hold of that, okay, and then they can drain all their cryptocurrency. So the cool thing about, you know, smart contracts is they don't have private keys themselves, but you can set multiple different people to control those smart contracts, basically create a multi-signature wallet where you'd have to have access to a bunch of different private keys in order to steal somebody's money. So that's that's way number one, which it fixes the security issue. Another way is a lot of people forget their seed phrase or their private key, and then they can never access their money again, okay? 
And when you have something like an extracted account with maybe the smart contract, for example, you could have multiple people who would be authorized to help you recover your account in the case that you lost your private key or seed phrase. So these are two different ways which security can increase big time for blockchain. And honestly, that's one of the biggest things holding people back from, you know, kind of going all in on self-custody. Now, another big way which, you know, abstract accounts can improve blockchain is with user experience. So one example is like batch transactions. So let's say you want to go to use a website like Uniswap and you want to swap a token. A lot of times you have to do two steps. You have to approve the token first, and then you have to sign the transaction to actually do the swap. There's two different transactions. It's multiple things you have to do to pay the gas fee. It's kind of annoying. But with an abstracted account, you could potentially do all these in the same step, okay? Basically, the smart contract could do both of those steps, and you could just sign one transaction, and it would go through. Another way in which account abstraction could improve blockchain user experience is to do things like session wallets. So like kind of one-off wallets on a per uh, usage basis. So this is really analogous to Web 2.0. So if you don't know what a session is uh, in Web 2.0, basically it's a browsing session that uses cookies. So let's say that you went to a website like facebook.com and you logged in with your username and password. You're going to get a cookie back and that basically represents your session or your browsing session. So, so that every time you visit that website, it knows who you are and can keep you logged in and show you the authenticated pages like your profile, all that type of stuff, right? But then when you delete that, you know, that session's kind of destroyed. So basically, you can have a similar type of thing with blockchain where you want to have session wallets where you're creating wallets, you know, for a one-off, you know, browsing session, so to speak, on the blockchain. This has got plenty of use cases like gaming or any application where you want to have a temporary state. All right, so that's an overview of account abstraction, what it is, how it works, what the benefits are. So in the current state, you know, EIP 4337 really just deals with smart contracts on the network itself. It doesn't really involve any like native changes to the Ethereum protocol itself. So this is something that should be able to, you know, ship relatively soon without, you know, too much testing. But over time, we would likely see something like this get integrated at the protocol level. All right, so let's talk about the opportunity for developers with all this. So let's circle back to the account abstraction grants put out by the Ethereum Foundation uh, for 2023. So again, this is a really innovative area of the technology, which means there's not a lot of stuff built. So there's there's opportunity to create all types of things with this, but I'll get into a minute. But let's get into the details of the uh, grants themselves. So again, there's a $300,000 pool for this, all right? So some good news and some bad news. So I'll start with the bad news, which is a $300,000 total pool with a cap of $50,000 per proposal or project. Now, the good news is you could potentially have multiple projects inside of this. As long as the idea is unique, you can submit multiple proposals. You could even win multiple proposals. And the good news is the barrier for entry for submitting a proposal is pretty low, okay? Your, I, your project can be completely in the idea phase, right? You could just have an explanation of what you want to do. You could have a proof of concept, worked in progress, or a fleshed out project. Doesn't matter. And anybody who's passionate about building out the account abstraction ecosystem in a collaborative way can apply for this. You don't have to be some insanely experienced person, and you can do it from anywhere else in the world. So those details out of the way, let's look at some ideas of things you could actually create if you want to take advantage of this. So let's, let's first of all think about what these people want to see out of this, okay? We have this new thing, ERC- 4337. And the whole idea about this is creating standards around account abstraction. So what you want to do is try to put something that's going to help codify those standards. So let's start to think about other standards that exist right now inside of blockchain that have the, the letters ERC in front of them, like ERC20, like ERC20 tokens. You probably heard of this. This is basically a standard that talks about how, you know, cryptocurrency tokens should work so that they're compatible with cryptocurrency wallets and, you know, exchanges. And then things like ERC721, which are NFTs and how they should be compatible with wallets and marketplaces. So a similar type of thing here is we want to codify standards around how abstract accounts should work. So anything that you create should be helping that end goal. And the good news is they give you a list of ideas that you could create. I mean, they're basically just saying, hey, we need this stuff. So like web auth transaction validation, account abstraction block explorer. I mean, that's basically like just creating an Etherscan clone that supports this. Uh, bundlers peer-to-peer -peer messaging, sequence or RPC, data showing account abstraction wallets versus externally owned wallets. So that's what I was saying before, basically like what are people with account abstraction wallets doing versus people just using regular MetaMask wallets, something like that. Might be number of hacks or people signing up for account abstraction wallets or even just educational content showing new users exactly how account abstraction works or protocol developers who are trying to create things with this. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. They got a full wish list here, which you can click on the website. Um, and I'm sure this uh, list will grow and change as time goes on. All right, so that's an idea of what they're actually looking for. Now, the thing you have to understand before we wrap up here today 
is that the deadline for this is pretty soon, the time to record this video. So you only have a few weeks left to apply. And if you're going to do that, then how can you? Well, you can go to the link for this. You can look up the account abstractions grants for 2023 put up by the Ethereum Foundation. I'll probably put a link down below this video. And once you're on this page, you can just go to how to apply and it will walk you through these steps. It'll give you some tips on how to create the proposal and then go through that portal in order to submit your application. All right, so that's an overview of this big opportunity for blockchain developers to build out the next wave of the internet and get paid to do it. You know, you could do this on top of your regular job. It might even be able to replace your regular job for some period of time. So let me know what you decided to do down in the comment section below. Are you gonna apply for this? Are you gonna help build out this next effort? So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video and you wanna get the skills to start becoming a pro blockchain master so you can take advantage of opportunities just like the one I'm sharing in this video, then I can sure to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp, okay? You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.